Good morning, it's Clay Trader at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to get some of my trades captured live as they unfold. Market opened up, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds ago, a minute ago. Um, so watching CLVS right now and some other things. So I will keep you updated. Have a fishing order out here right now currently on LULU at 6899, um, but I'm currently watching ABCO. So that one could get filled without me capturing it on video, but I did want to get it uh, noted right now that there is that fishing order out there. Watching, uh, like I said, ABCO right now. So we'll see how this one continues to unfold. All right, I'm <clears throat> looking to go short here at 42.25. Stop will be at 42.41. So risking uh, $80, $85 there. Idea is... Um, I believe it uh, has a chance to roll back over, but if it doesn't and I'm wrong, then I just wanna be out. So again, 42.25 is the entry point that I'm trying to get right here. So we'll see if it can get up there or not. Okay, getting closer and closer. Okay, I'm in, stop loss is at 42.41. So let's see if this rolls back over, but I could very well be wrong. And if that is the case, then uh, I need to uh, just admit that I'm wrong and take the loss. So we'll see what happens with it. And just a, a friendly reminder, I am looking at other charts and what you see on this screen. I have multiple monitors, so um, this one is coming more so, the entry point that is, was based more so on the five minute time frame. So we'll see what happens here with it. But yes, I would like to see an ideal situation is for it to start to roll back over here and, uh, you know, maybe retest these lows, if not break down through them. But whether or not that happens remains to be seen. But, uh, you know, if I'm right, and I can make a whole lot more than uh, if I'm wrong. So we'll see if this thing wants to roll back over or not. I'm going to pause it and I'll bring it back if there's any sort of significant. Well, there's a move downwards there. So let's see. Yeah, 424. So I'm going to now lower my stop loss down. Now I could still take a loss, but instead of you know the $80 loss, now I'm looking at maybe about a $30 loss. So I'm not out of the woods yet. It very well could still be a losing trade. However, um, it's not gonna be as big of a loser if I'm wrong. So if it breaks down through 42, then I will indeed make it so it's gonna be at least a winning trade, but it's gotta get down through uh, 42 for me to you know update the stop loss. Uh, so again, yes, it could still be a losing trade, but it will not be as much as big of a losing trade as what it had originally been. So I'm technically already making money. Penny saved is a penny earned. So I'm not going to complain about that. Like I said, I want to see it break down through 42. Now that's close enough. I'm splitting hairs. Now it is a winning trade no matter what. And there's the break of 41. So now I'm gonna bring this down some more, put it at 42.01. Now it is no longer a matter of if I make money, it's how much money am I going to make? And as traders, this is the spot we wanna be in as traders. I mean, this is the ultimate um, spot, because I mean, hey, there's no stress when your only worry is and wonder is how much money am I gonna make? No stress in that at all. So let's see if it can break down here through this lower 90 area, looking like there's some potential support there. If it can get down through 90, I will adjust my stop loss. It's trying. 41.90, as you can see there has, uh, okay, it's down through. So 42, 41.91 or 92, I should say, is the new stop loss. So now I'm just gonna work this down if it wants to keep on falling apart for me, fantastic, if not. But I don't know, I have no idea how much money I'm gonna make. Talk about a great spot. If this thing wants to keep falling, then the sky's the limit. So a very stress-free spot to be in. Let's 
looking like so I am stopped out there for $165 um, so like I said I was risking about 80 ended up making 165 with the potential of a whole lot more as uh, hopefully I've discussed because obviously this thing um, could have kept going and going and going and going and very well may uh, but right now like I said I may note that it's looking like there is some support there so bouncing there but point being it could have kept going and given me a lot more so um, just a good uh, good little real life example there sorry I'm I'm not a very good multitasker I'm trying to look and scan and talk and make a point at the same time but yeah a good little example there of trading and quite frankly stress-free trading because I was perfectly fine with losing the $80 or so so I wasn't even stressed about that because hey I could afford to lose the $80 uh, but it definitely gets very much less stressful and no stress at all um, in fact almost giddiness when you're in the spot where you're like, hey man, the biggest worry I have right now, the biggest confusion, the biggest question is, how much money am I gonna make? When you can eliminate the question of, am I gonna lose money? And it transitions into, how much money am I gonna make? That's what we want as traders. While I'm thinking of it, uh, the big question I'm always getting uh, with these videos and makes sense is, hey Clay, you know, how did you find CLVS? You know, what, what were you using? How did you even come across that setup and the, and the ticker symbol itself? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks such as CLVS that I find potential in and think may have some profitable potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then go ahead and click right there and I will email you the guide. Guide's very short, uh, straight to the point. And you know it's a good risk versus reward. I mean, the risk is maybe it's totally worthless and you waste you know 10 minutes of your time reading through it. On the upside, maybe it really, really helps you out, adds a lot of value to you. And uh, you know, like I said, 10 minutes worth of maybe time being risk versus really helping you out. I think it's a good risk versus reward uh, scenario. And with that, I'm just going to wrap this video up. I know the past couple have been well over 10 minutes, so I'm going to keep this one on the short side. I know only one trade, but you literally saw the trade from start to finish all the way through. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased um, that I caught such a good example like that. It is 949, so 20 minutes into the day, up 165, uh, was still, you know, several hours left in the day to make some more trades. So, as always, if you enjoy this video, if you want me to keep making them, um, then please, the easiest way to convey that is to subscribe to the channel itself and to click the like button on the video. Comments are always appreciated too. Um, I will reply and you know, um, that's fine too. If you are interested in learning how to use charts like I'm trading, then you can go to claytrader.com. I offer uh, multiple training courses on you know charting and all that stuff. And if you wanna trade alongside me and other members of our private trading community, then just go to, you know once again, claytrader.com and click on the inner circle and that'll give you uh, access to the chat room, a weekly uh, newsletter I send out and all sort of good stuff. So claytrader.com, lots of information there along with other live trading videos if you wanna watch those. So as always, thank you for watching. I will see you back next week.